Cinco de Mayo, and what better way than to celebrate them with some amazing tacos. It's taco time, I love tacos. You can celebrate Cinco de Mayo any way you'd like, with tacos, with chimichangas, with margaritas, with whatever you want, but I like eating tacos. And I won't lie to you, this is not the only day I eat tacos. I wish this was the only day I eat tacos, but I eat tacos like every other day, so. But today we're gonna make some amazing tacos. Keep it simple, huh? So, we're gonna start with some nice skirt steak. This beautiful skirt steak right here. So, we're gonna cut a nice piece of skirt steak right here. I'm gonna make some for my friends. Then, we're gonna add some mojo. Mojo is a mixture of naranja aglia with some cumin, some chili powder, some garlic, all of that love put together in one seasoning. We're gonna add some of that. We're gonna add some chili powder because I love chili powder. We're gonna add some more garlic. We're gonna add some lemon juice. We're gonna add some salt. And we're gonna add some black pepper. And we're gonna massage our meat in there. Yeah, like that. A nice massage. Mm, like that. So we wanna make sure that all of this flavor goes inside of the skirt stick. So I recommend uh, putting it in the fridge for about an hour, two hours, overnight, three hours, four hours. And if you're like me, that I'm, you're doing a video on YouTube, then we're just gonna throw it in. So I have a nice skillet right here. If you have a grill, that's great. If you don't have this, use a pan, that's fine. I heated it up, I put some olive oil, and I'm gonna put it on. And I'm looking for these nice little grill marks. So one of my favorite things about Cinco de Mayo is that it's a great opportunity for everyone to try these Latin flavors that we got going on. It actually encourages a lot of people to have margaritas, to have tacos, to have that Latin flavor, that Latin seasoning. And you know what? This Cinco de Mayo, I think it's gonna be even more special because we're in a time in our history of our, of our country that we need to unify, that we need that unity, that we need that bond. And you know what? Food is a great, place to start with all of that. Food is the one thing that we all have in common. And what better way than to bond than with food? And not only any type of food, we have Mexican tacos. So, I put some jalapeno in there, get some nice color. Let's see how our skirt stick is doing. We can use a little more time. Okay, so now let's see if our beef is ready. Remember, we're looking for these nice grill marks. Ah, look at that. Ah, look at that, amazing thing is doing and it looks right about done. So we're gonna put it on our cutting board. The rule of thumb is that you let it rest for about 10 minutes so that those juices redistribute and you make sure they all stay in there. If you cut it right after you take it out of the grill, what's gonna happen is that all of those juices are gonna run out and we don't want that. We want a nice juicy piece of steak for our tacos. Okay, here we go. So before we get to cut our steak, I'm gonna use some of, tor some of our tortillas. Now, when I have time, I make my tortillas. If not, I buy them. But if you have the time, make them. They're super easy to make. Here we have three tortillas and we're just gonna get them hot enough for our plating. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut our beautiful steak. Oh, just how I love it. Mm, that's exactly how I like it. So if you want it a little more cooked, just leave it there a few more minutes. This one I cooked for about five minutes. And that's just perfect for me right there. And since it's a little thinner, it's gonna be a little more well done. Let's flip these babies right here. And we are ready to start plating. Okay, so I got this nice plate right here representing the colors, you know. So, I'm gonna get these tacos right here. I'm gonna put my flour tortillas down. Uno, dos y tres. Right there. We got our three tortillas right here. I got a mixture of amazing things going on right here. So, I'm gonna start with some guacamole for each one because you have to have your guacamole for Cinco de Mayo. A little guacamole, right there. Bam, right there. More on this one. You have a little radish right here. Like that. Maybe a little jalapeno on this one. It's a nice trick, just put a nice little piece of jalapeno, and then when someone goes whoo, 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 you got it. Okay, so let's get our beautiful piece of steak. Right there. Uno, dos. Oh, look how amazing that looks. Look how amazing that looks. Every Cinco de Mayo, I always invite some friends over. This is an amazing way to bring all of my friends together on a special day. We make some margaritas, some tequila, some chimichangas, some taquitos, and then we all, when, we, when we're drunk enough, we start speaking in a Mexican accent. It's amazing. And then I'm gonna show you what else we do. We also do the whole dressing up thing. 
Some of us already have beers. I don't have a beer, so I'll show you what I do now. So, once we have that, we're gonna put some queso fresco on top. Not too much. Queso fresco on this one. Queso fresco. If you don't have queso fresco, you can use some queso blanco. Then, I have some of my red tomato chimichurri that we make on our other videos. Recipe on my website, chefchrisvaldez.com. I'm gonna put some of that right there. Un poco de salsa, lleno de sabor y amor. Mm. Que delicia. Un poco de cilantrico aquí, ahí. Un poco de cilantrico, un poco de cilantrico, un poco de cilantrico por todos los lados. Mm. Que delicia. Look at this amazing dish right there. Okay, so before I try this, I must show you what I do for Cinco de Mayo so we could get in the groove of things. The first step I do, I drink a margarita. The second step I do, I drink another margarita. The third thing I do, if I do another margarita, I can't finish this video. So I'm gonna show you the third thing I do. And voila, they call me Pancho. Here we go, time to try. Look at this amazing, look at the beautiful color on that skirt steak right there. Here we go. Mm. 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 That's it right there. What a better way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Invite your friends over, share this recipe, cook it, put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, put it everywhere using the hashtag Cooking with Chris. Subscribe, like, share. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Remember, food, unity. Uh, this is the year right here. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Woo!